Please, I beg you, do not adjust your headset. Seth Meyers has not let himself go and found a time machine to come back with this beautiful hair and demean himself to the lowest form of medium called a critic. Hi, I'm your host, Chris Humphrey, and today we're going to do our best to review the book Hello Beautiful by Anne Napolitano, which is a fantastic read. But before we do, we'd like to announce an ad for our very first sponsor. Being a mother, very hard. We know. Being stressed because you want to just take the kids and, you know, well, you need to relax. And when they go to bed, whether you put them to sleep or not, we have the right product for you. It's called Aviation Gin. It's so good, it'll get you pretty damn drunk. And we're back. So we're on the topic of Hello Beautiful by Anne Napolitano, which is a beautiful read. And if you do not know any of her previous work, her claim to fame came from a book called Dear Edward, which was equally as phenomenal, a great tearjerker, and turned into a very successful TV show called Dear Edward, based off of the book. And it's on Apple TV, which you can see uh, now. I believe the final episode comes out very soon. And the final episode comes out, I believe, uh, this week, I think, uh, if we're correct. Uh, and it's equally just as good uh, as the book. It's a tearjerker. Same with the book. The book was an ultimate tearjerker. But now back to the task at hand. Hello, beautiful is just as much as a tearjerker as her first book. She has this innate ability to let you get into the family where it makes you think you're part of the family uh, in a way that uh, many authors and writers try and do, but they don't succeed because she has the ability to get you into the nuances of dealing with life and uh, mental illness in particular. She is phenomenal. Uh, and if you wanted to, if you're going to ask me, did she make this grown ass man cry? Yes, she made me cry uh, again. Uh, it's hard. And it probably hit me the hardest when uh, uh, in the book where with a line where she says, uh, we hardly ever ask each other uh, how we've been hurt. And it, like at that point in the book, it, it got to me. And it's true because she's using an example of, uh, real life, uh, uh, we we never do, right? We we get this social media frenzy, and obviously, uh, that book, that line in particular, stuck with me, uh, and I hope it sticks with you. Uh, and it, it's fantastic. The read is great. Um, you're gonna like characters like William and Julie and Sylvie, and you're gonna like them a lot, and then you're gonna hate them. Uh, she likes to get into those nuances again of people. Uh, and then you're going to be like, ah, you know what? They're not that bad. And then you're really going to hate Rose. Or I don't know if that means I just hate my mother, which means I have mother issues. Maybe that's the case. I don't really know. Uh, but I want you to read this book and really dissect it. Uh, now, before we get into my rating, because people um, uh, who know me from my past uh, reviews know that I only rate in between six and nine, never given out a 10 and never given out an NR because that's what we're chasing, either a 10 or an NR. And at the end of the year, we're going to um, uh, compile them into a thing. Uh, I did not give this a 10 and I did not give this an NR. So I'm setting up your hopes now. What I will tell you, because some people will tell you, uh, they like this, they like that, they didn't like this, and they didn't like that. I loved a lot of the book. What you're not going to like if you're an ADHD type reader is you're not going to like that it's a slow burn. It's a slow read for the first quarter of it, we'll say. Uh, I think it's, what, 400 pages, I think. Uh, so for a quarter of it, you're like, uh, it's a little slow. because She's building her world, and she does a fantastic job uh, describing William and how his tortured uh, family, tortured him in a way that could never be possible because they lost the child and he is a product of it. Like she does it. And I'm trying not to spoil much because there's a lot more uh, to it, but she gets into character development. Probably one of the better 
uh, modern writers on character development. Uh, if she had a master class on how she did it, I'd be paying, I'd be watching, uh, uh, and I'd be learning uh, because I am a wannabe writer uh, one day, uh, maybe. But uh, so with the slowness comes with a slag of, of uh, dialogue. And the dialogue can be cheesy and can be plain and you can be like, Ugh. What was the point of that? And you may or may not like it, right? It's not an Elmore Lemmer book where the dialogue is fire because it, it's meant, it's written like a script, if I'm being honest, an Elmore Leonard book or a Christopher Moore where it's meant to make you laugh because it's so insanely beautifully stupid. It's not like that. It's a romance. Ah, romance. It's a little woman type book. If you don't know Little Woman, I suggest checking that out because it's a beautiful uh, book of uh, dealing with uh, a household full of women. And this book is sort of the same because you have a dad who essentially makes sure that his uh, daughters wake up and know that they are beautiful. And it, it's great. Uh, it's a good tearjerker. And you will get you will feel a part of uh, both families, I think. Uh, and at the end, and we're down below, you're going to discuss your favorite characters and let me know if you hated Rose as much as I did by the end of that book, because I really hated Rose. Like I said, please don't Freudian and say, uh, I have mommy issues. Okay. My mom doesn't need to know. Uh, but she did a fantastic job. Uh, I'm going to give this an eight out of 10, uh, which means you should definitely read it. Uh, you're going to like it, get past the first quarter of it, and then the second act and the third act, if you want to break it down into three, is just going to keep coming like that. Uh, she's phenomenal. One day I hope to interview her uh, about all her process and her thought process through it all, and I hope she knows that uh, we love her. Uh, thank you again. The book again was uh, Hello Beautiful by Anne Napolitano. Beautiful read. Get out there. And if I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Ciao. Producer, hit the music.